The one thing that I hope you take away from this video is that wash days should not be traumatic. They should be relaxing. They should be washing the stresses away, decompressing and bonding with your kids. Some of you may be cringing that I'm washing my daughter's hair in the kitchen sink. It's perfectly sanitary. I made sure that I cleaned the sink thoroughly before we started this process and I also sanitize it afterwards. It's all good. Plus, it saves a mama's back. I'm able to stand there and work on her hair longer instead of rushing in the bathtub or the shower and having it be a very uncomfortable situation and I'm not doing as thorough as a job as I normally would. In addition to me saving my back, it's also providing my kids a relaxing experience where they can just lay there, relax, close their eyes. They often fall asleep because it is such a relaxing position for them to be in. And probably my favorite hair care product ever is water. Water does wonders. It is the most moisturizing thing ever. And the longer I can sit there running warm water through my child's hair, the more it's going to absorb. Of course, oils and products and things help, but water is key, guys. So the longer you can saturate your kid's hair with water, the better. Shampooing in sections is crucial, y'all. It is really a large task. If you gather all of the hair together, it makes it a lot more difficult to detangle. But because my daughter's hair was in four parts for quite some time prior to me washing, there was pretty prominent parts. So I am washing all the hair at one time, but uh, you can't really tell, but it's very easy to separate the hair when I start the detangling process because of the prominent parts. And lesson learned, I always make sure that I give extra attention to the rinse process, rinsing multiple times so I avoid anything left behind. Looking back at this footage, I was cracking up to see my baby strapped in the high chair in the background. He is all over the place right now. He's 15 months getting into everything, every single cabinet and throwing things. And I was just amazed how well he did sitting in that high chair, just chatting away and being entertained by watching me wash his sister's hair. Now, when all of the shampoo is washed out, I put on some deep conditioner. I'm putting on a deep conditioner this time with intense moisture by shampoo moisture because I'm going to be using a hair steamer on my girl's hair and I feel like this hydration multiplier is perfect for the hair steamer so under my daughter's direction she thinks I talk too much in my videos I'm let the footage roll for a little bit while I separate her hair into parts and give it a little bit of extra conditioner because I like it absolutely drenched and messy. If it's not messy, I feel like you're not doing it right. <laughs> and get her ready to go underneath the hair steamer. I found this hair steamer on Amazon and it was a pretty affordable price. It had amazing reviews and I just had to try it to level up my game with my girl's hair and I was pleasantly surprised. Like look at that gorgeous steam. It really gave off that relaxing spa pampering vibe that I'm totally here for. Now my son has never tried it before so I wanted to see how he thought of it and I wanted to make sure that those curls were nice and juicy because he's trying to grow out the top. He has a haircut for the following day so I wanted to make sure that I prepared his hair so he's ready for that haircut. A little bit of advice that I have learned along my hair care journey with my kids is if you feel like they're having a hard time maintaining their own hair, switch it up. 
show their hair some love and show that you appreciate and value and care about their hair and in turn it makes them a little bit more excited to take care of their own hair so for example after the steam treatment ace was like "Ooh!" he went and got his brush he brushed it himself and i could just see like it coming back the need and the wanting to care for his own hair and look at that smile he was actually excited to have a spa experience with me and i am loving it all right you're probably wondering what is up with this hair steamer how much is it where can i get it and how does it work i simply flipped a little plastic flip in the back poured water to the max line and it took about five minutes it steamed up pretty quickly it boiled its own water in there and it's so easy to store it comes apart in two different pieces i could store it away in the original box and bring it out whenever i need it this is definitely going to be one of those things that we use bi-weekly for every single head in our household i'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description down below if you have any questions let me know and i'll try to answer them in the comments time for Gigi's hair spa experience she has an extremely tender head so i usually do her last when everyone is out of my way and i can just dedicate a little bit more time to her i need to be more gentle and i need to go slower with her because for some reason her scalp is just so sensitive even putting water on her head you can see how she's cringing a little bit it tickles I don't know what it is everyone's head is completely different than another person's just like Gigi's texture of hair is so different than Avea's and Ace's texture of hair that's one of the things in this hair care journey that I've really tried to put my focus on as learning each one of my kids textures of hair Gigi has more of a 4a slash 4b and what works for her hair sometimes doesn't work for Avea's hair Ace's hair is pretty resilient and it eats up any type of product I put in his hair. Gigi is almost 11. I felt like the past couple years, her hair has changed a lot. It's beginning to be more thirsty. And I did like a hair test and I learned that she has low porosity of hair. So her hair really benefits from that heat treatment and that steaming effect to help open up the pores in her shafts to let the products absorb easier. So I really encourage if you don't know the hair type of your child or the porosity level do research figure that out so wash days and hair styling and such will be much more productive and you can help the health of your child's hair even more If your child has a sensitive scalp like mine, I found it really helpful to hold the hair in one hand, kind of releasing the tension and being a lot more gentle while you start the detangling process. And always, of course, start at the very bottom and work your way slowly up to the root. This is so much more efficient and helps with the tension and stopping breakage and helps with the pain. And just like shampooing and conditioning, working in sections is the way to go. Throw some links of my favorite hair care products and brushes down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. I feel like they are much more gentle and avoid breakage. So these are some products that I swear totally help on wash day, especially with a little tender-headed child. 
I so appreciate you guys staying all the way up into this point. I had so much fun bonding with my kids and having this relaxing wash spa day vibe day with my kiddos. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, what were your favorite parts, if you have any questions or suggestions. I really want to build a supportive, adoptive, and foster care community where we can learn other cultures and other hairstyles and how we can take care of our children best. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe.